Hello everyone, today I will talk about finding prime numbers between 2 and n with a linear sieve algorithm. This algorithm was developed by Grace and Misra, like the sieve of the erotothene. It works by removing non-prime from the set, but no attempt to remove a non-prime that was removed earlier. Alright, let's see how it works. Assume we are asked to find the prime numbers between 2 and 10. In order to keep track of the removed non-prime, we need a list. The length of the list is n plus 1. You can see I drew a tracking list here, which is indexed from 0 to 10. The list was initialized with 0, and the starting index is 2 same as the first searching number. For each prime searching, it involves two operations. First, check whether the searching number appears on the location the current index is pointing. If not, it's a prime. So we can now see 2 here. So 2 is a prime. Second, remove the lowest non-prime by multiplying the prime with the current index, which is 2 times 2. The product is 4. So we update the value of the list on the location 4 with 4. Now we move to the next searching number. Also, the index increased by 1. So we can see 3 cannot be found on location 3, so 3 is a prime. So we update the prime set. Now we have a new prime set. We this, use this new prime set and the new index to calculate the non-prime. 2 times 3 is 6, and 3 times 3 is 9. So we have to update the value of the list on locations 6 and 9. Then we move to the next number, uh, 4, and location right now is on 4. So we can see 4 already on the location 4. So 4 is not a prime. We don't update the prime set. However, we still need to calculate the non-prime. 2 times 4 equals 8. So we update the location 8. 3 times 4 equal 12, which is outside our interest range. We don't do anything. So we move to the next number. We keep doing the above procedure until the end of the number, which is 10. Finally, we found the prime set is 2357. All right, let's look at the code implementation. We need two lists, one for storing primes and the other for tracking the removed non-primes. If the removed non-primes outside our interest range, we don't update the tracking list, but go to the next searching number. Alright, this is the end of today's episode. See you next episode.